Boys and Girls, this is Miss Russ Gray, and today we're going to read a story about a giraffe, and we're going to draw a picture about a giraffe. Repeat this after me, this is what we're going to learn in art. I can use, good, rhythm and value in my artwork. Rhythm and value. Say rhythm and value. Okay, and we're going to learn what those words are. Giraffes can't dance. Some of you have probably already heard this book, but if you haven't, it's a really good one. Let's get this picture of some monkeys. I'm going to quickly read through it. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad. Because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog, oops, I think I skipped a page here. The warthog started waltzing, and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight bamboos then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallow swallowed bravely as he walked toward the shore, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Roar! And they go, roar! Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Was that nice or not? No, that was not nice at all, was it? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed the cricket. <coughs> Every cough. I didn't know crickets could cough. cough. You had seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music in those branches is in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin, and Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started chuckling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gent gently swaying, and his tail was swishing all around. Say, swishing! Oh boy, look at him now! He can dance! He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault, and he leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I'm dancing! Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Ger Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. That is a very good book. I like that book. Okay, I'm going to turn off the video and then I'm going to do a separate video for the drawing part of this and we're going to learn about rhythm and value.